All right, let's do this. Commence primary ignition. For Thursday, December 3rd, 2020, it's the Sereno Squadcast, the official podcast of the Sereno Squad. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode of the podcast. Happy holidays. We took a break. Um, how was everybody's break? Good. Meh. Everybody's safe? Yeah. Wayne, that looks super creepy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell what's going on there. Um, anybody uh, do anything exciting or just, uh, I mean, everybody had to be safe. You can't really go around too much. It's not encouraged. Uh, I've been uh, adding glue and sanding it and shaping it and I put paint on the helmet. Nice. Yeah. Paul, you've been working on some work, huh? It's sanding and painting. That's what I'm doing. It's blue. It's starting to look blue. It's starting pictures. to look blue. Yes. That's a good sign. 501st. Um, how about you, old Evan? We we had a very small Thanksgiving get together with my wife's parents and her brother, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. My uh, my sister she came up and her my nephew they uh hung out and they got to see the baby for the first time and that's all we really did. But it was a nice holiday. It was different though. Definitely not like most. Yeah, yeah, we had to cancel a lot of plans. Yeah, a lot of people are, I think. Yeah. Gunner's entire family has become Werner Herzog, and they're just coming up, I want to see the baby. <laughs> That's exactly what it feels like. And my, I felt bad because my, my brother wanted to come up last weekend, and I had to be like, man, we just are pooped out this weekend. So I hate to do it, but I'm glad that he's going to be coming up this weekend, I believe. So. Um, yeah, everybody had a pretty good holiday. That's great. Um, well, I guess we can go on to our Legion news, which um, it's not much, but here we go. Oh, yeah, we're going to bring him in. That is the first thing. Legion news. All right, so this week um, we've got a uh, – an approval for a costume. So let me pull that up here. All right. Legion approved TB31284 for their scout trooper. Yes. That thing is sweet. Now, do we know this, uh, this, this gentleman here? No. Uh, face does not look familiar. No. Looks kind of like a biker scout. I actually have a, I have the did I say, computer what did in front I say? of me here. Scout trooper. Biker Let me scout. see if I recognize his name because I have my computer in front of me. And I have a, I have a list of all the approvals. Oh, well, you know, we've never actually said anybody's name, but. Um, uh, yeah, no, I don't recognize his name. That's okay. It looks great. Good job, buddy. If you're out there and if you <laughs> watch yeah. this at all. <laughs> Should we, we can start, should we start can saying, actually, not, I, can't, I can't say names because um, most of this list is actually hidden from me and I don't have access no, to no, we unhide it. Say their names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, this, yeah. Is, this is good enough. I mean, yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure that anybody that is on here is happy to just have a picture of themselves. This is the unnamed scout, as they right. say. No, that is TB31284. When you join the Empire, you no longer have a name. You're a number. That's true. Right. <laughs> That's true. This is it. This is this is all you get. It looks awesome, though. Um, can you can you tell if this is from uh, specifically from Return of the Jedi or? It, it is. You can't tell from this picture, but um, that's what the list says. It's listed as Return of the Jedi Scout Trooper. Nice. Yeah. Looks awesome. It doesn't I don't look think it's too, quite. It's it not quite like dirty. You're upside down. down so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a dirty one like that before. Are you being sarcastic? No. <laughs> really? <laughs> Even the ones on Andor weren't that dirty. 
Oh, you mean film use? They weren't that dirty. I think I think they were. The, the, a lot of them had those big black scorch marks on them. Yeah, you, you have to be careful with weathering because it a little goes a long way. You can overdo yeah. it, and right. you can look like maybe the Death Star fell on you. <laughs> yeah, on the Scout yeah. Troopers, it seems very specific the weathering pattern. Yeah. Were there a big difference in the costumes of uh, that were in the uh, the first season of the Mandalorian? scout bikers just to, just how it fits but it's ill-fitting <laughs> was it uh the same kind of like mold and uh armor yeah. or was this 3d printed uh actually i believe the biker scout armor that we see in season one presumably in season two uh more on that later uh is it's all from a uh, fan made i think that's oh. actually waltz armor yeah, it's oh, Walter. Wow, that is awesome. So cool. So cool. Well, yeah, that's the only one that we have for this week, but uh, congratulations, buddy. It looks good. Yeah. Go punch a baby. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> I actually, I, I, um, I was sent an article about the, the actor that punched the baby, the child. Jason Sudeikis? Um, I don't think it was him. I think it was the other guy. Okay. Was uh, he, he, was doing, was, he, was, he was doing one of them. Right. Was, he, was Jason Sudeikis in the costume or did he just lend his voice? I don't know about the costume and voice. Everything I've seen made it seem like he was actually in the costume. Right. Probably. Glad we do our homework before we start recording. I didn't know this was going to come up. It's what we always do, baby. I'm going like to Google it. Jason Sudeikis, Mandalorian. Let's see if he was actually in the costume. Um. I don't know. They're super him, about that show. Saw him as a scout trooper punch the child. Who punched uh, the child? It wasn't him, right? Right. It says it was. It says it was him who what? punched the child. Oh man, maybe I'm getting my articles wrong. Uh, yeah, I think it does seem like it was him in the costume. Adam pa- Paley. Who's that? He was probably the other guy then. Yeah. So this is this is what I'm reading here. Adam Paley, his punchy Mandalorian scene, and he talks about how um, they told him he read his his lines or whatever, did what he had to do. And he punched the the child, and then John Favreau ran around the corner and said, "Hey, just want you to know that's our hero prop, and it's worth about five million dollars." <laughs> <laughs> and so he said that the next like three shots he missed he was so nervous he couldn't even hit the thing even lightly he was so nervous about hurting the child or destroying that incredible piece of machinery um that's the article i read it could be either or i don't know either way this this one that says hollywood if this is from hollywood reporter and jason like they interviewed jason sudeikis and he said that he forgot that he punched baby yost to me it was the other guy and everyone's just telling him it's him yeah they're both in the scene, so... Yeah. yeah, who cares? Yeah. One of them punched the baby. They both punched the baby. <laughs> they both probably did, yeah. <laughs> Wayne's like, give me that baby, I'm going to punch him right now. No, no, they both did. The one that, that scoops him up hits him. After he bites the other one, the other one hits him. Oh! Uh, there, there we go. go. Oh, there we go. Mystery solved. The Mystery solved. Mystery solved. I like it. I like it. For it, You got Sherlock Holmes. It's great. So, um, yeah, that was uh, that was a great costume. That was fun. Everyone so, loves the biker scout. Yeah, biker scout is on the list of ones I want to do. It looks like yeah. it's not too. That'll be my next one. Constricting, you know. Yep. I still want to do a patrol trooper. I think it'd be really fun. Patrol trooper. What are what do the patrol troopers look like? They were in about five uh, five frames in solo. And solo, yeah. What do they look like? They look they like kind of... weird angular stormtroopers meets a biker scout. Oh. Yeah, it's, if you combine a stormtrooper and a biker scout, you get a patrol trooper. <clears throat> nice, nice, nice. Cool. I can kind of see it. Very neat. All right. Well, um, is there any other Legion news? Um, we don't have any 
There's no kind. Have we heard anything on uh, like Toys for Tots or anything like that as far as the holiday season and stuff or no? I think it's it's mostly because nobody's doing any big events. So they're just like, well, sorry. I haven't checked the forums in so long. There's nothing on the forums, at least not for us. Well, I hope they're doing something for the kids. It's, you know, this is the worst time ever. In like uh, Northern Virginia, they're getting, they have a few events, but even those are few and far between. Yeah, Northern Virginia seems to have a couple that are like, uh, like parades for children, like children who have like um, overcome cancer. Yeah. Normally at this time, I'd be getting an email like every other day because yeah. all the event coordinators and squad leaders, we get emails for the entire state. So it's not divvied up. We just look at it and be like, does this pertain to us? No. Um, I'd be getting an email like every day or every other day, maybe three times a week. I've gotten one about every six weeks. The dark times. Pretty much, yeah. It's true. This is truly the dark times. I picked the, the right time to start a <laughs> podcast have a child <laughs> yeah that was that was beforehand we yeah, actually sure we had a, a month jump on that <laughs> but it's it's okay it's actually great for having a baby um as long as this doesn't last like two years <laughs> it should be <laughs> fine um, but who knows who knows anyways moving on to our top story top story Excuse me, that's the, uh, that's the wrong franchise. I think yeah. I don't care. Top story. It's been two weeks since we've been on here, so we have two episodes of The Mandalorian to go over. Can we cram it into one episode? I, I think, think so. so. I think so. I think we've probably forgotten enough stuff that we, we don't have anything to talk about. So it should be the, the, easy. The la- not this last episode, but the one before it with uh, Cardoon and uh, Grief Karga, I think yes. is his name. Yes. That one wasn't like crazy eventful, like not a whole lot of big plot points. There was like a couple of big shots that were like, oh yeah. my gosh, but like the episode itself was like, it, I, it was kind of cute. This, yeah, but this last action. episode was definitely the big blockbuster episode. I liked it, and to know that it was directed by Carl Weathers just made me even happier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a classic heist. Heist heist uh, episodes are always fun. Yeah, it was a great action episode. Yep. I I uh, I really liked uh I liked the idea of that what was that plant? It was a what was that plant? The it it was disguised as a uh like a what the heck was that facility that they oh, thought? What did they think it was? It, they thought it was an abandoned or nearly abandoned imperial outpost. Oh, it was an outpost. Yeah. For some reason, I was thinking it was like a, a, a plant or a factory or something. No, it's because it was powered by the uh, – they used the, the liquid lava. magma right. uh, from the volcanic, volcanic areas to power it. That's what I was thinking. I just wasn't paying magma. attention. Right. Magma. <laughs> Molten lava. Yes. You know, they talked a lot about lava and magma, but we didn't, didn't see any. Um, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Did we? Yes. Well, we saw it down in the pit thing, but not. Yeah. I, for some reason, I thought there was going to be like a wall of lava going through that oh. canyon, but there was like a tiny yeah. little stream, like, you know, a really crappy Grand Canyon. But, um, I liked how they, they they got away before the worst of it got there. Right. Yeah. I guess so. I guess so. Well, I mean, um, we got to see a tie pilot that they tried to pretend was four. <laughs> Why do you, you four years old? Yeah, four no, of them. Tried. What? Four of them. Oh yeah, I gotcha. Did they really use the same one? Yeah. And it's a it's a reused shot from Rogue One. They yeah. Really? It. Yeah. These weren't even new shots? No. Nice. Wow. Saving money. Yeah. yeah. Economical. 
<laughs> yeah. Now, the last episode, the the last like five minutes is the big, big part of the episode because that's where you get the Moff Gideon reveal. Um, the I guess we're calling them Dark Troopers, and the you know what is what is his plan, and what does he have to do with the M counts? Oh, so, and don't forget the uh, the communications officer that that goes to Moff Gideon. Um, I have a feeling we'll be seeing her more because she's a uh, she's a character on uh, Black Lightning. Gotcha. That that actress. So yeah, she's I, like a big. Uh, she was on the last season of Shield. Yeah, uh, she does a lot of like stunts and stuff yeah, like that. So and she's really good. So I'm hoping we see her more. Yeah. All right, let's back it up a little bit. So, starting the episode, where what were they? Why were they going to that abandoned outpost? What was the what was the reason for all that? It was the last they had basically wiped out uh, all of the empire on that. Yeah, Cardoon and Grief had basically cleaned up that area and gotten it back to being more respectable. Except the only problem was that last Imperial outpost, and that's where the majority of the troops from Lassian came from. You know, it was still there causing problems and keeping them from being kind of free right yeah and you can tell a huge difference this uh this episode from last season there on uh that is in wh wh what planet is that uh navarro okay it's navarro. the same we've this is like the fourth time we've been to this planet yeah it's basically like a second Tatooine, it feels like. Yeah, this is this is Tatooine of, of Mandalorian. Right, the Mandalorian Tatooine. Tatooine wasn't in Mandalorian. He still goes to Tatooine a bunch of times. <laughs> but, but it's, it, yeah, Navarro, gotcha. Um, it's gray yeah. Tatooine. You see, yeah. like, there's a market out. There aren't, like, a bunch of bounty hunters. Like, literally last season, every person on the street of that, of Navarro, of that city, that little town, they were yeah. all hunters and now you've got nice markets the kids running around they got a school yes they, uh, the bar became a school the bar became a school yeah that was a right that was you wouldn't expect that to happen but yeah, it's almost um, like the uh, the empire coming in and cleaning up the streets uh was you know once again overlooked they come in <laughs> they do a nice thing and then they're like we don't like being told what to do yeah. What did the Romans ever done for us? Uh, aqueducts? Well, I mean, <laughs> aqueducts. It's true. Aqueducts. Um, we got to see Baby Yoda eating uh, eating those mac macaroons. Macaroons, yeah. Well, you know, that kid wasn't going to give him any, so he had to take matters into his own fingers. Yeah. That was uh, that was cute. And then you start to really get worried there whenever you find out that uh, – now, you said that inside uh, – I think a lot of people are wondering what the heck was in those tanks whenever they, they finally – you know they're about to blow the place up, and they're like, wait a second. There's something else going on here. What is all this? When and I first saw the episode, I was like, oh, my gosh, are those – Palpatine clones, but then Paul totally burst my bubble, so apparently not. I never once thought of that. I thought that they were like, uh, I, I thought they were gonna be like different species of like aliens and stuff that they were uh, doing experiments on. I didn't think it reminded me of specifically. The, it reminded me of the Snoke's in a jar scene from uh, oh, uh yeah. Return from the yeah from the new movie yeah. Rise of Skywalker. Surprise. That's what they were. No, the what were it's they? Poss it's possible that's what they could be. It's Snoke's inner sorrow. For my personal thoughts, that doesn't line up with the timeline of events. But it does. Um, because Snoke is from the First Order. After the Battle of Jakku, m the majority of the Empire left the galaxy for the Unknown Regions. Therefore, they went off to form what will become the First Order. So what you have is a handful of Imperial loyalists like Moff Gideon are the ones who stayed behind and didn't either didn't know about the plan or just chose didn't that they didn't want to. They didn't get the memo? Yeah. So the, it could be Snoke. That's what it entirely could be. For but, me personally, it doesn't line up with I, the timeline of events. What do you think, think it is, though, Paul? Come on. 
I think it does, and I think that's why they need the child with the uh, high M count to implant that into the body so that the bodies can accept his essence. See, that's, that's exactly what I thought. I am killed. My thought is what's in the jar is failed experiments or experiments in progress. And I think Gideon's creating super soldiers. That's, that's kind of, that's kind of, that, that doesn't explain why they need to be force sensitive. That's part of making them super soldiers. Well, and that, they'll never, they'll, they'll never soldiers. be like force sensitive, like baby Yoda. You know, it's and like, I think there's a possibility that Gideon, if the soldiers were successful, might try to use it on himself. Force. I think based on what we saw at the end of the episode, that's probably more likely. I really wanted it to be failed um, uh, clones for Sidious's essence, but I mean, the last shot we saw were clearly what are probably dark troopers from was that shadows of the empire that dark troopers show up in uh dark troopers mm -hmm. showed up in yeah. the video games dark troopers or death to, which, dark, dark troopers those are just black stormtroopers no no, no. Okay. what are the black stormtroopers shadow stormtroopers oh my god okay <laughs> shadow troopers got it Short um got it. Dark Troopers in Legends were from some of the video games, and they were like just big, mean, partially droid. Yeah, I, I thought they were droids. Like cyborgs, yes. androids. Let's... They, they were like meant for fighting Jedi. I think we're gonna we're gonna Google this because I have a computer. Oh, our fact checker is Dark, in front of a yeah, computer fact today. checker's back. He he's in front of a computer. Dark the, Trooper. The descriptive audio for the episode, when you get to the end, it does use the word dark trooper. Mm. Words. Which one's their fact checker? I think it's the one with the bad CG beard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one says dark troopers were advanced battle droids and in infantry exoskeletons that featured heavy plating that resembled the armor of a stormtrooper, powerful weapons and jump packs for increased flexibility and tactical advantage. Yeah, I'm going to see if it says anything in here about them being force sensitive. No, because they were droids. So there's, there's different phases of dark troopers, I guess, where they're droids and also like mech suits or exosuits. Yeah, I think it depends on which video game you were playing. Yeah. Like death troopers, the name has been used a lot. So there is, there is a canon dark trooper because this, there's a canon, um, uh, in on on the Star Wars wiki, there's like a canon tab that said Dark Troopers were experimental combat droids created as part of the Galactic Empire's Dark Trooper program. Um, it's from the that? Star Wars Commander. What is Star Wars Commander? Sounds like a video game. Oh, it's that mobile game. It's a mobile game. Okay, that I don't count that as being canon. Oh, it's canon. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so it seems like this is going to be, it's going to draw on Legends, but it's not necessarily going to be beholden to Legends, I'm guessing. Gotcha. That's what the majority of the stuff has been. They'll mining Legends for good ideas and then reworking it to fit in the current canon. Which is the stealing best ideas. That's all it is. Yeah. But they're good ideas. Yeah, they take the good stuff and throw away the bad stuff. Right. That's sure, I'll, 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 I'll pay for it. I'll watch I'll it. Know. The, uh, the episode was really good. I really enjoyed that one. I liked it too. I, I liked how they brought back, um, oh, what's his face? The, the Mar, Mar, man, I can't even remember his species or nothing. The blue guy looks like a fish. Oh yeah. Uh, Mithril. Mithril. Yeah. Is that is that's his name. I think that's kind of a, I think that's a name. I'm not sure if that's a name or a species, but that's all that he was ever called. Right. So. <laughs> he was fun. I liked him. Was that my speeder? That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he had he waited in the speeder, he would have been crushed. Uh, <laughs> it's so true. He would have. Yeah, it's true. Um, well, um, yeah, and then the end of that episode, you get that that footage from, I guess, Rogue One with the, the TIE Fighters. The Mando comes up 
guns them down. Yeah. We got and, more of the folding TIE fighters. Yes. And, uh, Those are so cool. And That's his right. Yeah. Baby Yoda, he he uh, he spits up all over himself. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> and Mando cleans gross. him up with his cape, just yeah, while he's <laughs> still shooting down the Tie Fighters. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a tender moment. I liked that we got the uh, the New Republic pilot came back at the end. Yeah, yeah, and he's cool. For a uh, a costume nerd like me. I, I very much enjoyed the fact that he's wearing an original trilogy flight suit, not a Rogue One flight suit. Flight suit. Oh, cool. Well, it's too early for that yet. They haven't changed the X-Wings yet. No, he's wearing, he's not wearing the Rogue One style flight suit. No, that's suit. what I'm saying, but they haven't changed the X-Wings yet. They're still in the old X-Wings, too. You do know R- Rogue One took place prior to this, right? Rogue One, A New Hope, Empire, Return of the Jedi, Mandalorian. Right. So I'm saying he's not wearing a Rogue One style, which is the newer, fancier, shiny, better materials. He's wearing an right. OT, as in made right. in 1977. So like, has the TIE Fighter, or has the uh, X-Wing been made, the new one? At this point, no. It hasn't? I, I think we've gone and confused everybody. I, no, I'm confused. no. I, I, it, after you said Rogue One and, and stressed it, I got you, but in answering his questions, I don't think they have yet. I don't think they would have. I don't think they're going to for a while. No, they're still flying the T-65 X-Wings. Yeah. Well, There's no 70s. Yeah, the 70s won't be for a while. But, uh, but yeah, that was that same 501st uh, member. Yes. He was back again. I like that. Cool. They treated them like they were state troopers, which is kind of funny. They were just like, yeah. <laughs> I never really saw. I, I thought you know it's like freedom fighters or something, but they were actually acting like cops. Which was yeah. Cool. Well, they're, they're 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 I think they're acting more like federal marshals. Oh, yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's more relatable. I think we have you surrounded. <laughs> yeah, they're in charge now, so they gotta they gotta be the cops. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. That was a good one. Um, and that was Palpatine had it to where he had it all. Each regional governor would be. I mean, it, it, he had it worked out. We'll find yeah. out. We'll we'll figure out what those things were in those tubes. Yeah, they had they had a great system, and the rebels came and blew it up. I mean, it's just yep. chaos. Regional governors now had direct control. Nope, hmm. nope. We had to come through. We had to make it better. Well, how are you making it better? Oh, uh, we got two guys in X wings out shooting spiders. <laughs> <laughs> There's a trillion people in this star system. Yeah, you get two guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll get there as soon as I can. It's an emergency. <laughs> yeah, that'll uh, be a whole oh new spinoff series. <laughs> hey, the Empire guys. couldn't control the Outer Rim. What good? What good are they going to do? That's true. It's true. It's a big place. The uh, the the galaxy. Yes. All right. Moving on to the next episode, though, which is titled "The Jedi." Um, oh, everybody's gonna hate yeah. me after this episode. Yeah, I think you already have. Uh, you've you've had opinions before that. What, as soon as this episode came out, it's like we know we know Paul's gonna have something to say. Let's see if he if he still feels the same or if he's changed his mind. Well, question for you. I should, probably should have asked you this before we started recording. Oh man, do you want to go into the real world controversy surrounding these episodes? Oh, wait, these episodes, as in the last one as well, or just this one? Yes. yes Both of these episodes have real-world controversy surrounding them. Yes, yes, yes. I forgot about it. I think it's worth talking about. Why not? Let's go back to the last episode before we start this episode. Um, um, putting it politely. Lay it down um, on us. So the actress Gina Carano, who plays Cara Dune, has in the recent weeks and months expressed political opinions online that are we'll say more in line with the empire than with the <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's very, a great way to put it very divisive um in a time <laughs> where people yeah. need to be you know kind of 
on the same page. Yeah. Um, I think she was a, uh, I don't know specifically what was said or, or what her, 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 she's not making any fans beliefs are, but it seems as if she was anti mask wearing, which is not. Any well, she didn't things, seem yeah. like it. She made it very clear. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, that's just, that's a big one. That's, you know, everybody's trying to, to get their crap together right now. And that's the last thing you need is somebody that has a, a platform to speak from to give you the wrong information. Uh, so, yeah. uh, I, I don't agree. I'm not a fan of can, uh, cancel culture by any means. Um, but I do believe this might be the last, uh, I, I wouldn't put any money see. on a car dune spinoff. Right. Um, no. Yeah. But they did say uh, the episode itself was a, a good farewell. <laughs> um, you know, you can kind of just leave it. You don't, you, there was nothing, there were, there were no loose ends left in that episode where you would have to bring her back. Um, yeah. So, mm -hmm. so it kind of was one of those things that uh, they might have seen coming or it just was like, you know what, it's going to work out better if we just you know went this way about it, it it's unfortunate because i like the character mm -hmm. so many people like the but, character and the character's been around for what two decades three decades uh i thought she was from the uh 12 months <laughs> really cara dune that character yeah, isn't i thought she was brand in new the, Mandalorian. well shucks i thought that she was um another one of those legends like uh no nope. characters well, dang. So, yeah, that was just uh, a swing and a miss, if you will, I guess. <laughs> but we yeah, – Big old whiff. We uh, – I mean, her performance on the show <laughs> – okay, now I got to reflect on this. Um, I, me and my wife watched all these episodes together, and from the first time that she made an appearance, Hannah was not sold. She was like, she can't act. She can't move. Uh, yeah, she was – not the greatest actress. She's not smooth. And I was always like, I love her. I think it's great. I'm glad that they got a character like her. Um, you know, all those things. And then, of course, this happens in Hannah's like, I told you. I never <laughs> liked her. I never liked her. I was like, ah, okay. Yeah. There's, just, there's just so, too, so much that you can, <laughs> you can uh, speak up for somebody. But, you know. Yeah, she works good in small doses. Right. Yeah. Well, that was the controversy. Uh, is, is there any more to add to that? Um, I think for that the last episode, no. No. We'll, we'll add the controversy for after the <laughs> – yeah, I, I like that. We'll throw in the controversy at the end of the uh, – whatever you want to call our, our review of the episode. Our synopsis. That's a good call. It's not very good. <laughs> but we'll try our best. Um, so – I was saying it's this episode is is titled the Jedi, so you know you're gonna see somebody. And in the last episode, uh, before the uh, Carl Weathers directed episode, there was uh, Bo Katan that was finally yeah, it was got her Bo Katan name dropped Ahsoka. Yes, yep. And so we knew that it was coming. And uh, whenever the episode started, were you guys ex? were you expecting what you got i mean no. it was so different it was uh i feel like it felt like we were watching the clone wars that's what it felt yeah. like this episode felt like the clone wars so much of it um yeah uh i don't know and and you know the intro within the first like probably 30 seconds you see ahsoka tano space up close right there not even you know in the shadows or anything looks so cool and um i thought it was really cool how they used camera movements um one thing i keep saying it's it's a lot like clone wars she talks about in clone wars how her species is almost kind of wild they've got these like uh, instincts that are kind of they're almost like cat-like. Um, what now? What is Ahsoka? She's not a Twilight. Tagruda. Agruda. 
Tugruta. T-O-G-R-U-T-A. Tugruta. And yeah. um, there was this one shot that was a first-person view of Ahsoka, and you see her prey in front of her, and she sh- 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 and jumps to it. And I feel like that was definitely a call from the Clone Wars where – they've or or not just clone wars but from her actual uh species or whatever how kind of wild they were how she could like smell stuff and it most jedi that we're familiar with they're they're human right they can jump yeah. really they can do backflips and stuff but they don't have like special like i don't know i thought it was a different a cool different perspective of a Jedi Knight where she, where they've talked about it before in Clone Wars. I'm going to keep saying that, but but in this I I felt like they really pulled it out and um I feel like they almost had like uh, uh this opportunity to get as much of Ahsoka into this episode as possible, give you all of it and they did it. I I I loved it. The first part was was awesome. Um we lost Wayne I bored him already. Come back, Wayne. Ah, oh, there we go. Yay. I accidentally touched the screen. I was like, okay, goodbye. No. <laughs> um, so um, what did you guys think, though, as far as uh, the intro and everything? I, I love seeing it. I liked all the, uh, the old Japanese movie camera angles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this episode uh, – well, number one, should should not have been called the Jedi. It should have been called the Citizen because we know she's not a Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, always be a Jedi in the movie. eyes of the beholder, my friend, <laughs> she's a Jedi. Uh, uh, she's not. She quit. This was very much the. You know she what I like? The, I like Akira Kurosawa movies. What's That's that? what I like. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed it. You liked what? Uh, this this episode was very much the I like Akira Kurosawa movies. Do you oh, like Akira oh, gotcha, Kurosawa gotcha, gotcha. movies? Because we're gonna spend a lot of time in one of them. So this one was more like that than any other episode, in your opinion? Yeah, he's. Yeah. I mean, even like the little there. village looks like a chi- a little like you know. Uh, there, there's a line between doing an homage. And ripping someone off, and he danced. This episode may have ended up more on the ripoff side of the line <laughs> than homage side of the line. <laughs> is that is that good or bad? That's that's the next thing we need to know. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna steal from someone, you steal from a master. So he stole from somebody good, but you know, if you're doing a cover song of the Beatles, you have a kind of a high bar to clear. I've maybe, never heard of Kira. Kurosawa, so I, yeah, I can imagine it's like a Japanese director. Am I right? Uh, Yojimbo, Seven Samurai, um, Rashomon, very, very influential to Star Wars. Very, very influential to westerns. Um, very, very influential director. Never very heard of influential him. to The Mandalorian. Um, Very influential to Star Wars in general. George Lucas I'll, was I'll a big, big fan. Right, right, right. So, well, how, does it, how do you spell it? Kira Kurosawa? It's Akira, like the anime. A K I R A. Okay, I see it. Kurosawa. K U R O S A W A. Oh, like so the movies are from like the. George Lucas the... was there while they were filming it. Do what now? So, I do like the fact that George Lucas was there while they were filming. Yes. So this, there was this episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, John Favreau almost said Lovitz for some reason. Uh, <laughs> that, would be, that would be a completely I'm different doing Star Wars. Huh? <laughs> uh, like I don't know. Sometime like eight months ago, a year ago. What is time anymore? Um, John Favreau posted a picture of George Lucas on the set of Mandalorian, holding uh, who we now know as Grogu. Ah, and nice. there we go. Um, and he was, you know, he, it was very much of a, like, Lucas was not posing for a picture. He, he sniped this picture as quick as he could. It was a blurred Apparently. photograph. I, ha- yeah. I have it on my phone. I, yeah. It's I a blurred that. photograph. Apparently he was on set the day they were filming this episode. So Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka was there. 
So he got to watch his creation come to life. That's really cool. It's a beautiful thing. Yes. God bless George Lucas. <laughs> um, Thank them. Thank you. Yeah, you spoiled the, the, the child's name. Come on. We hadn't even gotten to the rest of the episode yet. But yeah, um, so we, uh, we meet this magistrate, right? Yeah. Morgan Elsbeth. Who is this? Who's apparently, who's apparently from Dathomir. What? She's a witch. Um, I don't know if she's a knight or not. She's, but, a witch. Uh, she's a witch. Um, Wait, she's, she's one of, dead One now. of the hair and makeup people put up, like, like after the episode was aired, they put up a photo and they're like, she's from Dathomir. <laughs> okay. Fact. She's from Dathomir. Yeah, take I, it from I us. Guess she is. All right. Oh. Well, we'll take it. Um, the so, hair and makeup department said this. So she's she's trying to get rid of this pesky Jedi. Yes. Who's obviously trying to help this this village kind of get get out of uh, bondage and whatnot. And uh, it seems like they're. Uh, well, no, I won't say that because that's kind of spoiling it too. But well, anyways, so everybody's seen the episode. Y- yes, yes, everyone <laughs> has. Yeah, they're following along with us. They're they're gonna wait until we give them the synopsis. But um, <laughs> they, uh, I'm I'm losing my train of thought now. How does Mando get there? He just lands on the planet. He, he was that's that. I can't talk either. This is contagious. That's where he was told to go. Uh, yes, thank you. He was told to go there. He lands. He sees the little kind. He flies over the t- city. Goes on the outskirts. Parks it. Um, and all this going on, we all know that that ship is being tracked. Yes. Right. The whole episode. That's all I can think of. I'm I like, literally <laughs> forgot about it until just now. The whole yeah. time, I'm like, "Oh my god, y'all get back to that ship!" <laughs> you know, and um, I don't know if they did that on purpose, but uh, there are so many times where they're just like moseying around and not really thinking about, you know, the possibility of someone tracking them. And not uh, it, sister, huh? Nothing. Oh, sorry. Just a, well, one thing that I've noticed about this, people. I've noticed about this season in particular is that. It's it's like every other episode follows a storyline. It's like they have a couple of different storylines and like episode one, three, and five follow one storyline and episode two, four, and six follow another storyline because we were told about Ahsoka in, what was this last episode? Was it episode six? No. Five. So we were told about Ahsoka in episode three and this is episode five and uh yeah so that's it was just they kind of jumped and are they doing the same exact thing that they did in the first one is that what you're saying first season no it's just it just seems like they're like kind of what i'm thinking is if something happens in an episode i expect to not see anything about it until the episode after the next episode. right well it's been like that but then it then you would expect to have seen boba fett by now yeah, that that is true. That's why I'm like, where? Like, where is, is that? that if, that's gonna be like the last episode. Get, that's gonna be if, the last episode. I if bet. that's all we get of Boba Fett this or, whole season, I'm just gonna just walk into the woods. It'll be the episode before the last one. If that's uh, who wants to, who wants like to make a piece. bet? The only reason that you saw Boba Fett at the end of that was to end online arguments. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> why they put it in like the first episode. You'll never see him again simply because. Even if he did show up again, Mando's not giving him that armor. He's not a Mandalorian. That's true. Yeah. He's if he to tries to get it, he's going to kill him. And then he really will be dead, won't he? Ah. There, there's a possibility. <laughs> At least that we'll know. Will. At least we'll know. Yeah. There's a possibility. It's not a bad theory. Um, but yeah. Boba Fett is probably there to set up a Boba Fett TV show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, Katan is there to set oh, up more Bo Katan appearances in TV shows. So Katano's there to set up an So Katano TV show. <laughs> every character is getting it's a backdoor pilot for something else. 
Yeah, they're going the Marvel route. Kind of makes me wonder if we're going to see live action Ahsoka in the Obi Wan show. Oh, mm, wait, Obi Wan is. But she, I don't think if if she why, knows why would Obi-Wan she go to alive, Tatooine? She is very good at keeping secrets. I'm because just saying only, they could she, run I, I, into each other. It would have to be on Tatooine, though. Yeah, only so Yoda Obi-Wan. and Bale know Obi Wan is alive. Who the hell is going to do a, ta- a star, new Star Wars show and not put them on Tatooine at some point? That's yeah, I guess you're right. It's like um, what do you, the cradle of life. <laughs> you know, everybody it's like a, comes. It's like a nexus. It's a nexus in the Star Wars universe. Everything just comes together here. Yeah. It's yeah the everybody lobby. thinks it's, it's the Coruscant. lobby. Coruscant is not the center of the galaxy. It's Tatooine. It's true. Yeah. Even though it's in the Outer Rim. Well, but Tatooine is the Coruscant of the Outer Rim simply because <laughs> it's so far out that, that, that the new that the Republic and the Empire uh, hardly reach out there. It's run by huts, so everybody that we've seen, it kind of runs under the radar. Where are you going to congregate with other people that do that? That's true. Tatooine. It's run by the people you work for. Yeah. All excellent theories, yes. Uh so Mando walks into town. They tell him, "You're a Mandalorian. We got a Jedi he's problem." Like, and he's <laughs> like, "You got a Jedi problem?" And he's like, "Hmm, that's interesting. A Jedi problem. Yeah. Doesn't that work out just perfectly for him?" Um, and you notice uh, she offered him a spear of pure Beskar. So he has an anti lightsaber or anti dark saber weapon now. Mm. It, it's like we're literally watching somebody play a role playing game. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, Complete this quest to gain the weapon. You need to fight the big boss. <laughs> what I actually thought, and I, I was, my brain was just going off. I don't even know why I didn't think, she, whenever she said, like, your master, I was like, okay, so there's like a Sith Lord. I didn't think about, uh, Gideon I didn't think about him at all and so when I saw that Beskar staff I was like oh she can't find a kyber crystal but she's like oh. that's the only thing she has um her and master's then, not Gideon yeah no no I thought that I thought that her I, master I is Thrawn because that's what Ahsoka says at the very end she says oh, where's Grand she... Admiral Thrawn is that Disney Plus is six ninety nine a month. You should- <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I have a free trial it's still going on. Yeah, it's probably run out by every now. other line. Yeah, it probably has run out by now. Actually, yeah. you're you're paying for it whether you know it or not. I definitely don't know. I'm, I I don't know. I'm paying for a lot of stuff. It's okay. Yeah, that's how the world goes round. You just pay your dues. Don't ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. So, sure. Yep. Tell him I tell him sure, baby. You know better than me. <laughs> I'm on top of the world. <laughs> the name dropping Thrawn made a lot of people very happy. Yes, oh, I'm yeah. sure that Eric uh, pooped his pants. I twice. heard him scream from from like how I guess he lives about ten miles from me. I heard him scream. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yes. It was reverberating no, through the mountains. Yeah. As soon as she said that, Chewie popped his head up. <laughs> <laughs> All so my windows awkward. cracked. Oh man, now that that tweaks some pre-existing things. Uh, so what a lot of people have been questioning is the finale to Rebels. There's that epilogue at the end of the last episode of Rebels. I have yet to see this. Uh, spoiler alert! Spoiler um, territory. Going yeah. in. Yeah. Um, so at the very end, you see Ahsoka meets up with Sabine to go on a mission to go find Ezra. And Ezra's with Thrawn. So we thought that the way, if you watch the episode, it plays out like that epilogue is immediate, is very, very close to the end of Return of the Jedi. Now it seems like that epilogue is further out because this episode more than likely took place before that epilogue. Mm. Hmm. So could Thrawn be like, like could him and Ezra still be together? That's they're, what that's, that's what Ahsoka's thinking. They're caught in that 
loop and um, Sabine and Ahsoka. Ahsoka need to go find another temple to where they can get in to where Ezra got in to save Ahsoka and pull him out of that moment right before it goes. If, if that's the plan. Because, I mean, again, spoiler, sorry. Um, the end of Rebels has Ezra and Thrawn blast off into hyperspace to nobody knows where. God knows where. So there's a possibility that we're going to see Thrawn in this, this series. It's, uh, it's very possible. It's, it's going to happen. In this series, I would say probably not. I think this He's is a teaser she's... for this is a teaser for a Rebels sequel series. Yeah, oh, which live would, action. Which, which I think is in development, isn't it? Probably live action. Yeah. Live action. Live action. Live action or animation. Live action. That's what we want. I don't yes. know. Yes, Gunner wants an entirely new show to ignore. <laughs> I need another show that I can't keep up with. Please. <laughs> Please. Um, but uh, so, so yeah, he, he basically, Mando goes in, he makes a, a deal with the magistrate. It's like, sure, I got it. And then that's when he, I guess, is heading back. He's like, okay, I'm going to set you down, you little womp rat, whatever. And then yeah, she uh, tells him where to go. What? Uh, the magistrate tells him where to go in the oh, forest. Okay, so he's just wandering off. He's not going back to his ship or anything. He's going yeah. to look for her. Yeah. With the child, with the intent of trying to convince her to train the child. Um, yes. And then they, they their first encounter was a spark flying craziness. Was, I did like that fight. That was really, really cool. The best scar versus lightsaber. I didn't think it would hold up like that, but that was so cool. Um, Here's my question about best scar. So we've seen him take like full blasts of blaster fire and come yes. out without a dent. We've seen him get hit with a lightsaber and come out without a dent. Where the hell does all this dented mental Mandalorian armor come from? Yeah, if his armor is completely. Boba got hit dents, real hard. It's not <laughs> full Beskar or Beskar. It's not pure. You hit it with something made of Beskar. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, if you look at um what he had in the beginning, what he had in the first episode was closer to what Boba Fett has. Yeah, I, th I think what he has now is definitely an upgrade. Yeah, what he has now is full Beskar. I think you're right. It, I think it's it became pure. So, yeah, it became so rare that what they would do is mix it with other metals so it right. kind of decreased yeah. the strength. And yeah. they look like they the they're painted up and chipped and don't look as nice. And like you said, dented. Is there a story behind Boba Fett's dent? Which one? Uh, there, the one there's, yeah. there's yeah. like a non-canon version. Didn't he get hit with a like it was in they they did like a little storyboard animation for one of the lost episodes of the Clone Wars, and he gets hit in the head with like a it's like, a, it like a rocket or something. I imagine it'd be like a rifle bolt to the head, like someone sniping him. I feel like you got hit by a rocket. I, I, I don't really remember, but there is a clip. You can you can go on YouTube and find the clip. They actually have like the whole and it's like a like a pre animation that they yeah. would do before they actually film the episode. Cool. Yeah, because if Clone Wars had not been canceled, uh, we would have gotten at least one more Boba Fett episode. It would have been Cad Bane versus Boba Fett. Yeah, it was Cad Bane who gave him the dent. Anyways, um, so uh, that awesome face-off Ahsoka and Mando, and uh, he finally gets her attention, I, or I guess Baby Yoda gets her attention, and uh, that's when she's like, I hope it's about him. And I was really hoping she would say Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping, yeah. I hope we're going to talk about Baby Yoda. Um very shortly after that, you get to see there is some type of force communication going on with Ahsoka and this and the child, and uh, and we. So funny fact: the, the force power of exposition. Yeah, 
So uh, funny fact, whenever uh, this actually happened to me in a previous episode, but in this episode, Hannah was watching and she was trying to figure out um, exact. I think she was looking up who, uh, who Ahsoka was. And she's looking up and she's like, I think baby Yoda has a name. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you never go online. I was like, on he doesn't Friday. have one. I said, he doesn't have one yet. And she says, I think he does. <laughs> and I was like, no. And the same thing happened to me when I was trying to figure out who Timothy Oliphant was. I was like, I know it's Timothy something, but I can't remember his last name. And I looked up and I see Tamar Morrison. I was like, what have I done? <laughs> So well, you don't you don't Google before you watch the episode. We yep. we 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 had to talk about that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's okay though. Um, but it happens if you're out there and you're listening. Just don't do it. Just wait. Don't try to answer questions in the middle of the episode. Okay, it's not worth it. Just wait. Yeah, just well, just watch it and talk about it afterwards, like the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, like, it's not that long. <laughs> it's like 30 minutes 45 tops if you're lucky 47 yes yes um, yeah but uh they have that that interaction and you find out that the child's name is grogu yes grogu. i had the hardest time with his name i could not like they were saying it and i was like you want to say Grogu? Grogu Kro- Kroku and, he- he- and Heather kept saying she was like, she's like, no, it's Grogu. And I was like, did he say like Grogu? Because I felt like they were pronouncing it slightly differently. And I was like, I don't know what they're saying. Yep. It was, it's Grogu. Well, when, when he says it, it's through the, the voice filter. So it yeah. gets a little distorted. Mm. Yeah. And it's hilarious whenever he says Grogu and baby goes, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> oh, so cute, and then you realize he's had a really, really horrible little, uh, little life. Yeah, that's recently, kind of a he's, had, he's had a rough life. Yeah, especially recently, and um, even even during the time that Palpatine rose to power. So that was, you know, that was. I don't know where you would put it in in like an era or whatever but that was episode one was when palpatine was coming into power so at that point they were putting grogu away because they didn't want i no. think that's what they no. said they said no. his rise to power they in put him away order 66. was it order 66 so that's when he officially rose to power that's when the empire became the thing. Yeah. And the but he was a, what I was thinking is he was becoming a senator and he was rising to power. So Why would they're they talking about the, yeah, the, the Jedi were still a thing. They weren't scared of him because they didn't know he was a Sith Lord. Yeah. So gotcha. Okay. Fair enough. Somebody, somebody snuck him out of the temple either before, or after, or during or Order 66. Revenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So it's been a long time. It's been at least he's had about 20, 20 25, 25 years, maybe now. almost 30 years. Right. And he's 50 years old. Yeah. So the majority of his life he's been in hiding. Yes. Um, and uh, he was going through training. So there's, he's obviously got, he's, he can control his force powers, but the question is like, does he have any like combat training? Does he have any, other kind of uh abilities you know probably not probably just basic <laughs> probably not. I, I don't i don't know if he ever even made it to the rank of a padawan right i saw a some fan art of little grogu uh and he's wearing one of those little padawan like little bowl hats that they wear when they're training and yeah, uh they, they photoshopped him into that scene from episode two. No, no, no. It, was, it wasn't photoshopped. It was, it was like drawn by fan. It was not. But it was still like, you know, obviously it's not real. But, you know, he, he could have been there doing all that stuff. He could have had his own little lightsabers. And, uh, and uh, in the episode, Ahsoka mentions Yoda. That's the yeah. first time we get a actual uh, name drop of Yoda, which is cool. With some blatant Yaddle erasure. Yeah, I, well, I only Ahsoka knew one. Never seen. Ahsoka never saw Yaddle. I know. 
Because Yoda's a jerk and he booted Yaddle off the council. Yeah. It's like there can't be two of us. With nobody even knows what our species is. You know? <laughs> You're yeah. just me with a wig. <laughs> <laughs> You're just me with a really bad hairdo. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, it's like the ginger version of Yoda, right? Yeah. She's much younger. She is? Yeah. yeah she's only like... Only like 700? Two, two, two or 300. Oh, that is a lot younger. Wow. Yeah. No, I'll answer this. Yaddle. Um, she was. She we was born five. Episode. She was born five oh nine BBY, so she was about five hundred years old. Five hundred. Okay. Still a youngin by my my. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not one of those aliens. But um, we find out. No, we don't find out. But they decide that they're gonna go and come up with some kind of plan to take care of this magistrate. She's concerned about the village. Um, why, what is the magistrate trying to do? What is, what, why are they even there? Did we ever figure that out? Is that just another outpost? Um, magistrate's just evil. She's, ex- but they just took over ex- this little town, right? There's like, yeah. she's why would taking, she's taking the people for like slave labor and exploiting the planet's resources. Okay. Yeah, because so that's planet... why it, it's why it looked all like nasty and burned outside. Right. Gotcha. Yeah, you can feel that. That sucks. Um, but anyways, they get this great plan together. Still, like I said, this whole time, all I can think about is that tracker, and uh, and we get through the you know, we get to the I guess you call it the the trick where they kind of fooled them into thinking that they were uh, on the Mandalorian was on his side and he's not obviously um, that scene where the, where Ahsoka faces off at the magistrate. Is that a scene reminiscent of your, your Japanese director? Is that yes. your There's blatantly, you're almost a shot for shot remake of some of his movies. It's, it reminded me a lot of like, not a lot, but a little bit like Kill Bill, like the courtyard scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, they, all, they all stem which, from the which same Which also place. pulled from him. Right? Yeah. Um, Ahsoka did... Uh, I'm sure she, she lost one of her lightsabers. I hope she got it back. She wasn't... She just, back. Just <laughs> yeah, it just went in the water. It's not she like just it was destroyed. Force pulled it back into her hand, probably. I was really disappointed in that fight. I we was, didn't really get to see much of it, did we? Yeah, they kept you'd see like one little move and then they cut away to Michael Bean and the Mando. It's like, oh, well, uh, sounds like you won, Buster. Let me just put my gun down. You I love the, the gunslinger though, where they, you know, they had to do the draw. That, that was one of my favorite moments of the episode. It was so classic, like Western trope. Yeah. Yep. 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 Michael Bean. Now what has he been in? A lot of things, um, aliens. Oh yeah, uh, Terminator, he sure, he sure was. Them. He sure was. How do you spell his last name? B i e h n. B i e h n. Michael Fact Bean. Checker. Fact uh, checker. Evans. Oh, he was Kyle. He was Kyle Reese in Terminator. Didn't I just say Terminator? I thought you said uh uh. Aliens. Aliens. Oh, he, yeah, he's an alien. Yeah. He's an alien. Seriously, guys, you have Netflix. Watch some movies. I just I've like seen talking him, I've about seen him stuff. in the Terminator movies. <laughs> you know, I watch things, but I'm half asleep. Uh, I'm eating, so I'm like looking at my food. Uh, I'm on my phone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But. Oh, Despite how disappointing the fight was, um, wait, what, 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 Wayne? What did you say? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Despite how bad the, the or how bad the fight was, um, still, it was, it was probably one of the most. Mm, I don't know about action packed, but it was definitely. I was on the edge of my seat the whole stinking time. And Ahsoka's I loved, costume. I loved hearing the like the ringing of the lightsaber hitting the Beskar, but you can't see it. Like you just hear it, like someone's hitting a gong. Like I loved yeah. that sound and not being able to see it. So there's like a 
there's one pro from not seeing so much is because you get to hear it. Yeah, you get a different perspective. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it sounds really cool. You're right. Yeah. I really liked Ahsoka's costume. Mm-hmm. That's what I was going to say. Well done. I really, I really hated her makeup and her headpiece. You didn't like the wrinkles? The the headpiece was way too small. Yeah, it looked like it was too small. So I was thinking about that. <sighs> do they grow longer or do they yeah. grow differently? They, well, the way the way she looked in this episode looked more like she did in Clone Wars, mm-hmm. and by the time she shows up in Rebels, it's much long. Longer. Yeah, they're much yeah. longer, and she's Rebels in. In relation to this, is ten is or before, years before, right? Yes. Yeah, so she would be older. Yeah. Um, that's the that's one thing that doesn't really now that's rebels. Okay, so I feel like I I felt like there was a lot of Clone Wars, and I've said that tied to this episode. I don't see as yeah, much. Re- I don't see as much rebels other than the Thrawn name drop that I missed. I didn't even hear that. Um, I could sw- I don't know why I thought she said Gideon. Nope. Because I wonder I like, if the if the small headpiece could have had something to do with how they choreographed her fighting because it could have been difficult to is. choreograph with. It they actually they actually said they made it that way because of the stunt. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the makeup people made a comment. They said they they tried to find a balance as to what worked for the, the stunts and how much they could pull off without having to make it CG. Well, you could have said that earlier. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Or did I interrupt you, Wayne? That might have been what I was interrupting. I do that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you, it was awesome episode. And then all the way to the stinking end of it, they're fine. They're being tracked, but I guess they're they let them get away. What's that? They've got them on a string, right? Yeah, it's gonna come up in the next episode. They only let them go so far, out of kindness, I suppose. Yeah, and Ahsoka told him to go to Tython. Well, oh. if you're if you're a deep lore nerd like I am. When I heard that, I was like, that's the the lamest sounding planet I've ever heard. As soon as they said the name, I'm like, I know that name. Why do I know that name? Oh, I I lost it because I I played a lot of um, Star Wars The Old Republic, and it's one of the the starting areas because it's the, like, once after the events of Knights of the Old Republic, when the Jedi return, they rebuild their enclave on Tython, and they, like, recover a lot of their lost knowledge there because it's supposedly the birthplace of the jedi although in canon um i think it's it was name dropped as or not necessarily name dropped but it was indicated as one of the possible birthplaces of the jedi was between tython octo uh, i think they name dropped osis and then one other place yeah it's in the new canon it shows up in the dr afro comics briefly um but in the in legends, it was from it was literally the birthplace of the Jedi. Yeah, like thirty thousand years before yeah, the events of the movies. In the the Dawn of the Jedi comics, which are really good, actually. I want yeah. I I looked for them in print for many years, but I I don't like to read comments or comics on like an electronic form. I like to actually have the comic in my hand. Um, and I, I can't find the actual comic anywhere, so I'll probably find it in some random thrift shop one day, like I did the Crimson Empire comic. Jump well, on it. When, uh, when COVID's over, I'll let you borrow them. <laughs> okay. And you still got to wear gloves. And a mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to pull them out of the sleeve very gently. Don't crease it. Yep, yep. Um, what else? What else? Any, any other thoughts on that episode? Um, um other than it was, Overall, a, it was a good one. I enjoyed the portrayal of Ahsoka. It's not exactly what I was expecting. And it kind of, it's hard to tell because she brings up the whole thing about she doesn't want to train uh, baby Yoda because 
you know, she said she sees he has attachments to Mando, and she's like, "Well, I don't want to do that because I've seen, you know." He's she specifically. Yeah, she says because basically because she saw what happened to Anakin and his attachments. Kind of. Yeah, but that's that's it's a see that's the whole dogmatic Jedi nonsense because the whole reason why Anakin went to the dark side is because they suppressed attachments. If they embraced attachments and said, Anakin, cool, you're with Padme, yeah, have a great life. Everything would have been fine, but they had to be super regimented and take this weird... No, uh, no. it's not the attachments that they have a problem with. It's the fear of losing them that yeah. takes over your, your judgment, which is exactly what happened to Anakin. His fear of losing his attachment is what started the whole thing. Yeah. So they weren't wrong. So do you think Wayne Ahsoka should train? No. No. Nope. I don't think so either. And whenever I heard she said, I can't train this kid, I was like, Yeah. She can't anyway. She's yeah. not a girl. I was like, and yeah, that's true. That's true. Everybody, like you guys said, everybody just assumes and says that she's a Jedi because she walks around with because she was one and she walks around with lights laser swords. She's so. a quitter. Um a quitter yeah dude that was me growing up yeah uh, quitter yeah i was i was a quitter um you know play kickball and stuff i'd quit let's do this i'm going inside um i was known for it nowadays i'm i'm not a quitter so i think i just got it out of my system when i was young um of all the things to be proud of yep <laughs> I, I got a lot of things that i am proud of like that um, it, it felt a little weird to have her spouting off that kind of point of view considering where she went to in rebels and the end of clone wars had her kind of moving away from the more dogmatic view of the jedi and she saw how you know the good connections that ezra and kanan had and things like that so one thing i did notice and i think i even mentioned it to hand i was like she's talking like a jedi like the way that Ahsoka talks and speaks and stuff, she's the way a, a Jedi would speak. Well, Wayne, what do you got going on there? It's my uh, clip-on headband. Oh, like the Warriors. It's cool. Yeah, I like it. Keep that sweat. Um, Hold on. I can complete the look. It's, it's hard to to judge her character considering at this point it's been over a decade since we last saw her. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck am I? What? Oh yeah, the bottles. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Warriors. That was a gritty movie. Anyways, um. Well, sure. That one you watched. Why don't you do a podcast <laughs> about that? I can't tell you anything about it. Literally, I watched a movie once when I was twelve, and you look like one of the guys in the Warriors. That's it. That's as much as you get from my Warriors knowledge. Um, I can't say anything. I haven't seen the Warriors. You've probably seen it. I'm, I no, haven't I have. seen it, but I've heard. Not the even quotes. on television. Nope. Well, if you've seen it on television, you haven't seen it. Then I haven't seen it. Okay. There's I like when that guy says, "Goonies never say die." That's I'm true. I'm on, that's from I, the Goonies. Guys, I have to excuse me. I'm on my way to Evan's house. <laughs> <laughs> The Goonies podcast. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know. Overall, it was... Thank you, Paul. Keep tethering us back. For me, the episode was kind of middle of the road, B minus. Oh, it, that hurts. It, there's stuff I liked, but there's a lot of stuff I didn't like. There's a lot of very stilted and, you know, a very beautiful shot that then just doesn't do anything and I don't know. There were odd choices. Well, one thing that uh, I saw online after the episode, um, the HK-87 droids, which, by the way, another callback to KOTOR, just, I mean, like, just slightly by the fact that I don't think we saw, I think HK droids were introduced in KOTOR, but mm -hmm. the yeah. HK droids had an emblem on the side of their head that was Thrawn's Seventh Fleet emblem. Yeah. So there, were, there was more callbacks to Thrawn than just his name. Yeah. 
Oh, the there were those types of droids in this episode? The yeah. droids had Thrawn's emblem on their heads. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The um the assassin droids? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was really hoping they'd call somebody a meat bag, but they didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder okay. if they, I'm gonna I'm gonna search it and see if they've showed up anywhere else. While you're Oops. searching, Paul, let's uh, let's hear the controversy. All right, so there is a ongoing legal battle currently involving Rosario Dawson and her family. Uh, Interesting. It is a it is not a criminal charge. It is a civil charge. The long story short is Rosario Dawson and her family live in California. At one point, they lived in New York. They knew a person in New York who was like, I think kind of like a carpenter, handyman type person. Like an interior designer or something. Somebody who could do work on your house. The person that they knew in New York identified as a woman. They said, why don't you come out to LA do some work on our house. You can stay here. We've got a room you can use. <clears throat> so the person says, okay, well, I'm going through this major life change. Let me reevaluate my entire life. When they show up in California, they let them know I am actually coming out as a trans person. <clears throat> uh, they identify as a trans man. Uh, as the story goes, again, alleged, alleged, alleged. Nobody is arrested over anything. It's an ongoing legal battle still. Uh, they alleged that there were blurs thrown against them. Uh, at one point, there was even a mention of assault that Rosario Dawson and her family uh, committed on this person. Whoa. Yes. Uh, restraining orders have been involved. Uh, it's gone to the courts. It's a complicated legal matter. Um, so needless to say, a lot of people are not happy about Rosario Dawson being cast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, it I heard about this as well. I, mean, yeah. I have not heard that, but that's all, I mean, that's different than, than, uh, Gina Carano, who clearly said all these things on Twitter. That's like, I, I'm always hesitant for, to believe hearsay stuff like that. Right. Well, you never know. It's one person's the difference... words against another. The difference between the Gina Carano thing and Rosario Dawson is Gina Carano had finished all her filming. She showed her ass within the last few months online. They had already finished all filming. Everything was done. So for all intents and purposes, her time with Star Wars was done. The Rosario Dawson legal battle has been going on for like a year and a half. So they were well aware of it when they cast her. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's that's rubbing some people the wrong way. But yep. like it or well, like it or not, though, it's still she was cast in America, where you are innocent until you are proven guilty. Right. So to not hire somebody off of the assumption that there is a legal battle for, it's actually it's worse. Not, not there's no criminal charges being filed. Yeah, nobody's going to jail over anything. Right. So, so, but did there they is, know about there it? Was, Probably not. At the point that she would have been hired, this legal battle had begun. So the fact that a lot of people do not like the fact that this person who's under going through a legal battle, which potentially portrays them as homophobic and or transphobic, does not paint a very good light when you're casting one of the main characters of Star Wars. Right. That's that's true. But then you like like we got it's all a matter of whether or not it's it, you're having one person's words against uh, another. The, the 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 her family could be completely innocent and this guy, girl, whatever they identify as, they could be um just taking advantage of it and it could be the opposite way around um but yeah you're right whenever you've got something so touchy like that and you could make a safe call and say let's just not get this murky um yeah. but it doesn't look like they did that it was more or less 
they um they kind of just went with uh what they wanted which was her on the show for whatever reason I, do we know if this was um recent like in like the last year or if this was years ago it was october 2019 was when the case was filed i'm looking at it right that's now. brand new yeah. yeah that's brand new yeah, yeah. So, it's, so yeah it was all it was already they were already filming weren't they yeah it says in it says in august 2020 18 of the 20 accusations were voluntarily dropped by the plaintiff now we don't know if that was a play deal Right. You're getting into a yep. lot of questions mm-hmm. as to That's the, the murky, inequalities murky. <laughs> of the American justice system. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Right. there's a, it's it's a very complicated situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more and, or less, it was it was they could have taken a different route and they took yeah. the riskier route, and we're just mm-hmm. gonna see how it plays out at this point. Um, and, but it doesn't seem like there's a crazy plot that that needs ahsoka it was almost like it was like let's give a little fan yeah, yeah. flavor and also uh you know it's like we need a jedi to say we can't train the child yeah who's you could have be? done this episode without Ahsoka. it could have been anyone yeah mm-hmm. well it could have been but it would have been narrow you've been narrowed down to like maybe one other jedi right i mean there's I'm just a half trying dozen to, I'm existing trying to, characters, or they could have just invented a character. They could have, but they're you know, like I said, fan. They they saw it's like two birds with one stone. We can yeah. I do. Yeah, I do it'll think make that, sense. The plot will make sense. Everything will be uh, as you say. Uh, not legends, but canon, um, yeah. and also you know, I don't know. We'll, yeah. What were you I think say, she had the she Facebook she, is, uh, that's all it was. What's that? To me, she had the the kind of like that voice and the acting of Ahsoka down pretty well. So I was I was pretty happy about the casting. Like the the yeah. yeah. I thought she did a good job. What were you gonna say, Wayne? That her being there is just a fanboy hand job. That's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it uh, literally could have been anyone, but they went with that so that people would go, oh, and you would yeah. get you know all your right. Clone Wars fans in and your whatever, and, and so more people could be like, Filoni and Fabra, we run the Star Wars universe. There's there's been a lot of that this season, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing it um i mean you there, there's a line that you can cross between uh like paul said homage and then just blatant fan service and yeah. i think there's definitely some moments where they are crossing the line i thought having bo and those mandalorians in i do think it was a little bit fan servicey but i think it made sense especially because they're I mean, mandalorians. mandalorians they're always gonna well, follow that that part made sense to me. And the simple fact that he's looking for Mandalorians. Who's a Mandalorian right now? Yeah. Right. Bo-Katan makes, makes sense in the story yeah, because but, you introduced okay, the dark saber. We need saber. you to find a Jedi. It could be goddamned anybody. Yeah. yeah. Because very few people left the, uh, or escaped or were already out and never came back. And we don't know who they were. Yeah. They, they could have literally a- done anything. Cal Kestis. That would have been cool. Cal Kestis? No. There is a uh, no. there is a rumor, or I wouldn't say rumor. Rumor's the wrong word. There's fan speculation ah. because this episode ends with um, to go to Tython, ring the bell or do the thing, and you know, you'll decide, he'll decide if he wants to be a Jedi or not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Presumably people are saying, well, does that mean an actual Jedi would show up to train the, train him? So people are saying, yeah, would it, would have wouldn't to. it be cool if Cal Kestis showed up? Because that would be so cool. His whole story in the game Jedi Fallen Order is he's trying to find and protect all the Jedi children. Oh, oh that would be awesome. I'm not as yeah. familiar. I'm, I know the character, but I'm not familiar with the whole uh, with the whole video game story and everything. Uh, yeah. When, so that takes place though after 
Yeah, it's after It takes place the after episode three. Yeah. Oh. You yeah. watched Order 66 happen in the game. Oh, yeah. really? That it seems that, oh, that's so good. Yeah. The main story is like 10 years after episode three or something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he, he flashes literally fight your way through Order 66. And it's heartbreaking. Yeah. Wow. So he, he was did. he was on Coruscant or uh, he yeah, he oh. was on No? No. No, he they was were out on a mission. Ship. Him uh, and his master were out on a mission. Yeah, yeah. all the clones on the, no on the starship play. turned against them. Is this the second game they have? Or that's the first one. They have two of them, right? No, no it's just the one. only one so far. Oh. Um, you can pull up the clips on YouTube. It's really The story is really good. Oh, so good. Or you could get a system of play. Yeah. The game is available on uh, – if you get the Ultimate Game Pass through Xbox, it has EA Play, and you can get the game for free through that. Wow. I think it's on the Switch, too. I don't think so. No, it's on PlayStation so. as well. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, you just, like, made me – my heart was – my ro- it rose. Hold I was on, so happy for check. a second. Let me double check. Fact checker. We need both. We need both our fact checkers. We need Wayne. Uh, and I Evan. I don't have to fact check to tell you Jedi Fallen Order ain't on the Switch. No, it's Xbox and PS4. Yeah. Well, maybe. Maybe I'll YouTube it. You could probably pick up a an Xbox One or a PS4 for pretty cheap right now since the new consoles are out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's only got a baby. Those Facebook Marketplace, you probably yeah. find one for 80 bucks. I don't even know how I'd have time. I barely have time to do this. I don't know how I'd have time to do this. <laughs> you have to have time to watch Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe now I can start watching Star Wars for the first time with my daughter. Because <laughs> uh, I've never seen She'll it. She'll definitely before. remember it. <laughs> if, if she's anything like my nephew, it, you, he grew up with it so young. And he knew all the characters. He's, I think he just turned six. I think he just turned six. When he was like three, he knew every character. And then I had like a book with stickers. And he's like, Gargar, who's this? I'm like, that's a stormtrooper. He's like, no, it's not. I'm like, yeah, it's a stormtrooper. He's like, no, it's not. And I look at it, and I'm like, oh, snap, that's Boba Fett. You're right. I just can't <laughs> see. He knew it wasn't a stormtrooper. But he knew, he knew, his, he knew all, his, all the characters, everything, man. And he's like six now, and he is over Star Wars. That is like – he is so over it. <laughs> he doesn't remember any of the characters. I have this Chewbacca toy that he had for years, and I'm like, do you remember this? He's like, what's that? I'm like, it's <laughs> Chewbacca. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> So it is possible to go through phases where you you feel like you you know. What Ozzy did it. Who? Nothing. Ozzy did it. Yeah. He went through phases. He went through changes. Yeah. So That's did true. Bowie. Those yeah. were different well, changes. Bowie's were different. Bowie went through ch 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 changes. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. While uh, Ozzy was just going through changes. Well. We do know our music, some of us. I'm I'm tired, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, so are our crazy. listeners. Yeah, nah. yeah. They were tired a long time ago. Yeah, this is probably, what is this, like an hour and a half long? Yeah, it's an hour and a half so far. Hour 40, actually. We Woo! should probably sup there asleep by now. Anything that we're saying, <laughs> subliminal messages. Yeah. Eat your oval team. Oh, no. Hey, dude, please don't. They're with the 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 cancel culture to today it's we'll be gone before you know it oh no we'll be canceled we'll never get <laughs> nine viewers again dude i'm gonna i'll you start, get us canceled, I'll start another I'll one up get, <laughs> if, if you want to get us canceled i'll see if i can get uh nathan fillion as a guest i don't want to get us canceled but. oh <laughs> We'll, we'll not call that's it. the opposite we can wait until we're ready to you know burn all of our bridges and just sink okay. the ship but uh but I think that's about it for this week. Um, I did um, uh, in the last probably twelve hours. Adam Savage and on Tested released it a pretty cool video of a one day build of his Chewbacca's bowcaster, and uh, this video in particular, he uh, 
he did all time lapse. He, he explains at the beginning of the video. He's like, I do not feel like recording anything today. So I'm just time lapsing everything. And so it's not the best, most, uh, it doesn't have explanations and stuff, but, um, you do get to see a pretty cool finished bowcaster and he does it. He actually does go and finish it and, uh, paint it up and stuff in the end, which is kind of cool. So that's a good uh, thing to check out there. Anybody got anything else they want to recommend to watch? Check out. Uh, if you want to watch something else on his channel, he did a, a build of a lightsaber. He showed how you can, the, the dangers and skills <laughs> you can use to uh, basically take a photo of a prop and try to recreate it. Yeah. He talks about parallaxing and uh, he does the whole build uh, with the aluminum and just, yeah. uh, not everybody has a, a lathe where they can, you know, spin aluminum rods and, and finish it into something, but he shows you how, if you've got the equipment and it's, he makes it look so easy. Like it's, he jumps on a lathe, like you jump in a car and go to McDonald's, you know, that's how he treats this building of that lightsaber. And he just goes to town and, and that video, he definitely shows you, um, how to do some stuff. That was a good one. Are you going to build you a lightsaber, Paul? I have, I have tried to build them in the past from plumbing parts and had mixed results. So, yeah, I don't, I don't have access to any heavy duty metalworking equipment. So anything I make would have to be made out of wood or PVC. Right. Which you can make look just as good. You can probably do some metal work as well, but not, not as much, uh, welding and and uh and uh what you call it like riveting and stuff but another uh, one good technique is uh a, aluminum tape if you have a lightsaber that's got enough like components where it's not like a whole sphere of perfect silver um you can use the tape and wherever the edges of your tape are button boxes or whatever edges grips and things and you can what are you laughing at, Wayne? God, am I saying something funny? Oh, it's it's how my brain works. All I'm thinking now. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. People say a saber aluminum's good. Poor man sabers, plum and parsley <laughs> wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm actually gonna uh, put that as one of our segment jingles. Okay. <laughs> Great. I've got a few of them. I got to go back and. Sixteen sabers. Yeah, 16 Sabres. Is that the name of the song? It is now. I love it. You know, it. Electrum Sabercrafts uh, just released, um, like, maybe a month ago. They have uh, a Dark Saber-inspired Sabre. It's just it's just got a regular um, cylindrical blade. It doesn't have, like, the cool, you know, uh, sword blade type thing. But the hilt looks like the Dark Saber. So, so it doesn't cool. look like a katana. Right, yeah. Just looks like a lightsaber with a Dark Saber hilt. I guess that's better for um, uh, what is it? Saber, Le saber guild. Yeah, saber know. guild or rebel legion or whatever. It's it's gonna it's more of a traditional lightsaber. Right. It's, it's something just, different. It's round. It's probably more durable, and it's not gonna have. So, am I the only one that's like super dueling. excited about the fact that we're getting a live action Obi Wan TV show? Are we? When? Which means that we're gonna get. Ghost Qui-Gon. Am I the only one excited for this? They be better cool. have Liam Neeson because... They won't have to dye his hair this time. Oh, his hair will actually be gray. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I don't think that was his actual hair, was it? No, he's wearing a wig. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, I'm excited for that. That sounds super exciting. Um, yeah, that'll be cool. But um, if you guys didn't have anything else you wanted to recommend... I think it's about time that we shut her down. Um, and this yeah. week, oh, by the way, um, I fixed uh, all the audio issues. Uh, the reason that the uh, one, there, there are three issues. One, whenever you add a song to your playlist, you have to unselect, uncheck it, or else after you play a song, it will immediately play after. That's why every time we would play a segment, <laughs> It would come on. Now, 
the weird part was why would it delay to come on? And it's because of your recording, Wayne, you, you have about a 10, 15 second, you know, nine seconds, if I can count, uh, before the, the song even starts. And so if it were playing right afterwards, I would have probably caught it. But because of that delay, I wasn't expecting, I was like, Oh, there's nothing playing. And then uh, I went in, I actually turned the volume down the decibels. I chopped off, chopped off that front part and I unchecked it. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, here is our, our outro. <laughs> if, if I can get it to play. <laughs> now <a> wolf play. <laughs> so thank you all for joining us this week. Um, we're going to try to, to keep up our weekly episodes if we possibly can. We did take a break for Thanksgiving, so. That's why this one's extra long. It's making up for it. That's yep. right. That's right. So we got at least three more weeks to go of The Mandalorian. And um, if you guys are looking for us, you can check us out on Instagram. Let's check us out on the 501stlegion.com. Also, we've got the uh, Garrison Tyrannis Instagram page with all of our approvals and stuff like that. So check it out. Look us up on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, the Sereno Squadcast. And uh, until next time, everybody, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Doodles.